Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching this review of Samsung Galaxy ON 7. Now this is a bigger version when compared with the ON 5. It sports a 5.5 inch TFT screen with 720p resolution and it houses the Snapdragon 410 quad-core processor. This handset comes with a 13 megapixel autofocus camera on the rear and a 5 megapixel on the front. ON 7 is a dual SIM handset with 4G LTE support. Here is the box pack, the specification clearly mentioned on the box and inside you will find the ON 7 handset, battery of 3000 mAh capacity, quick start guide, warranty card, SAR information, regional lock guide, data cable, travel charger, this is a unique looking charger, 5V, 1A, and the final content is this standard quality earphone. The Galaxy ON7 as already mentioned sports a 5.5 inch screen with 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. Build quality and the finishing is very good. Body is made up of plastic. This is the black color version and there are textures on the back. The design is exactly similar to as seen on the Galaxy ON5. The bottom design is slightly different and this handset also comes with the shiny silver borders on the top and the bottom and there is a silver side with a matte finish. The camera module on the rear side again is slightly out. Power button is placed on the right side, volume rocker is on the left side. There is nothing on the top and at the bottom you will find the micro USB port, 3.5mm audio jack and the primary mic. On the rear side, there is a 13 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash and a speaker out vent. This is also a dual SIM handset. There are two micro SIM slots and an overlapping micro SD card slot. I have inserted a SIM in SIM slot 1 and a micro SD card. Handset weight with battery is 171 grams and it is 8.12 mm thick. Handset is running TouchWiz UI based on Android Lollipop. Touch is smooth and responsive. Color reproduction is good. I'm using the Airtel 2300 band. I'm getting the 4G logo in SIM slot 1. The signal strength is weak. If I switch to 3G, I'm getting a good signal strength. That's because there is problem with 4G network in my area. 4G works on SIM slot 2 also. You can use 4G on any of the SIM slots. Like the other Samsung handsets, this one also supports native video calling. You will need to manually adjust the brightness. The light sensors are missing and there is outdoor mode to increase brightness to a max for about 15 minutes. Viewing angles are okay. The screen does get a bit darker from certain angles. But overall it's not that bad. There is 8 GB of internal storage space and you'll get around 4 GB free space and of the 1.5 GB RAM, you'll get around 645 MB free on the first boot. Hindi language along with some other Indian regional languages are supported. The navigation buttons do not light up. There is ultra power saving mode and OTG works. Like the ON5, this one also comes with ultra data saving mode that will restrict background data and compressed data using Opera Max. Let's check out the camera. There is no option to control the exposure. This handset comes with a 13 megapixel autofocus camera on the rear that can shoot full HD videos and here are the different modes available. Front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter that can record full HD videos and it supports wide selfie. Here are some of the images that I shot using this handset. For sample images and videos do visit my website. The link is mentioned in the description section below. Galaxy ON7 is powered by a Snapdragon 410 1.2 GHz quad-core processor coupled with Adreno 306 GPU. It's using the MSM8916 chipset running Android Lollipop 5.1.1. It's 32-bit and here are the sensors. Two sensors, accelerometer and proximity. Battery temperature is at 34 degrees. Let's check out the benchmark scores. Quadrant benchmark score is 14200. Antitude score 32 bit for the first time was 22280. Battery temperature is at 34 degrees. Second time the score was 22342. Battery temperature is well under control 34 degrees. Nina Mark 2 is at 53.0 FPS and this handset supports 2 point multi touch. After 12 minutes, the battery dropped by 4% and the temperature is 34 degrees. 
Let's play the Asphalt 8. This game got installed on the internal solid space and by default it was set to the medium visual quality. I have changed it to high visual quality and the game is playing really well in this mode. Pretty smooth and lag free. I did not find any issues with this game. The battery temperature was also well under control. I played the Asphalt 8 for about 20 minutes. Battery dropped by 6% and the temperature is at 35 degrees. Galaxy ON7 is powered by the well-known Snapdragon 410 quad-core processor 64-bit and it's running Android Lollipop 5.1.1 32-bit. Performance is smooth, handset doesn't heat up much, camera quality is about average. The battery backup is also pretty impressive, you can expect about 5 to 7 hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage on a single charge. I got almost 2 days of battery backup with mixed usage. ON7 is a bigger version when compared with the ON5 and it's also using a different chipset. And when it comes to the camera quality, I found the ON5 slightly better than the ON7. There are better options available in the market but if you are looking for a brand value, the ON7 is a good option.